Samsung are announcing various new products as as almost as we speak, even though we've not had the keynote yet. Yep, yeah, that's not due at CES in Las Vegas until 6.30 PST. That's a good number of hours away. But already they've had a few sort of couple of press announcements and uh, presentations for the press. One of them is for the wall, which if you may remember was a modular sort of tile-based um, mini 6K panel that can then be made up to any size. Well, they've now increased the resolution to 8K and not only that, they've increased the sizes from which you can uh, sort of create a TV or, or panel to whatever you want it to be. Um, so they've, uh, they're, they're going to um, come in uh, various sort of pre-configured sizes too. So not just where you can just get the one little tile and then just build a whole myriad of them out. They're also going to create them into um, sort of pre-configured formats too. And they range from 75 inches, 88 inches, 93 inches, 110 inches, 150 inches, and an enormous 292 inches. Now these are proper... 8K panels, even the little, you know, just each tile is an 8K panel in its own right. The ability of these panels is quite spectacular. Um, last year when they were doing the 6K ones, there was, if you got really close, you could kind of make out, you know, just the, that it was a, a, an emerging tech. Now with these 8K, 8K panels, you can't see any difference from those than you would from a top of the range 8K TV. Um, prices are not sort of necessarily being released, but we can imagine that even just the basic 75 inch pre-configured format would be top in the sort of the, the $10,000 mark, I would imagine. They all have uh, a brightness of 500 nits, which, which isn't enormous. Um, the the HDR standard for HDR um, 10 is uh, 1,000 nits, but when you consider that you can make these into any size, I, I think that's you know an, an okay sort of step back in a way. Um, I wouldn't necessarily get this pre-configured for 75 or 85 or any of those smaller. I say smaller; it's still bloody huge. But those smaller sizes, if I think if you were going for this, you would go big and go home. Um, I think it's just designed for somebody that's got a lot of money or some uh, organization that wants to create a spectacle in some boardroom or in their sort of main waiting area for a business. So, you know, I think in that case, you'd want a huge display. And I think for those and for those that have very deep pockets and want to have something at home that's huge, uh, this is the thing to go for. So certainly uh, much better than what a projector would be because it simply wouldn't be able to emulate 8K, 8K projectors, uh, just crazy prices, even though this would be crazy price as well. So there we have it. The wall is a thing. It's official. You will be able to buy it um, eventually, probably in full production. Not this year. This is just like a real heads up as to what's coming and being produced and then being thrown out there for us to get very excited about and dream about buying in 2021. More news to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be alerted of new videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I will be covering all the live streams um, and uh, providing like a highlights of those live streams too, as well as the highlights from the day of the key things that I think as nerds that we would get excited about. So consider subscribing that's always very very welcome thank you and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell to be alerted of more new videos more news to come about samsung as i'm doing these and then we've got the lg conference coming up very soon okay take care see you in a bit